I'm Ben Micellis from Legal AF. Some big moves by special counsel Jack Smith and what we are now learning as being reported by The Guardian is that when you cooperate with special counsel Jack Smith, even if you may have previously lied, but you're willing to provide accurate information and just be transparent about what went down, Jack Smith, like many prosecutors out there, will have a forgiving spirit because Yusel Tavares, that IT worker at Mar-a-Lago who first lied before the grand jury back in March of 2023 while he was being represented by Stan Woodward, a Trump paid PAC lawyer, a Trump PAC paying lawyer. Stan Woodward also represents Donald Trump's co-defendant, Waltine Nauta. Um, then you sold Tavares when he actually saw the indictment drop back in uh, June of uh, 2023 uh, and got a target letter from special counsel Jack Smith. You sold Tavares started realizing, wait a minute, these lawyers that Donald Trump are giving me and Donald Trump is paying for they seem to be helping, wait for it, drum roll, Donald Trump and not me and not other people, not other co-defendants, self-serving and telling me and giving me bad advice. And so ultimately, we talked about this on another hot take, there was a Garcia hearing that was held in the grand jury in Washington, D.C., uh, before Judge Jeb Boesberg, a Garcia hearing is where prosecutors rave unwaivable conflicts of interest in a case where one criminal defense lawyer may be representing multiple clients, where one of those clients has information and they would be testifying that would be further incriminating another client that's represented by the same lawyer. So a Garcia hearing was held in the Washington, D.C. grand jury with Jeb Boesberg, federal judge, chief judge in D.C., presiding over it. And then Yusel Tavares, the IT worker, was told, hey, you realize you can have another lawyer other than the one Trump appointed you. You could have a federal uh, public defender, an independent counsel who could give you some advice. So a federal public defender was appointed back around July 5th. And then Yusel Tavares knew that it would be in his best interest to tell the truth, told Jack Smith, admitted, confessed, saying, I lied to you, Jack Smith, in the grand jury in March of 2023. Here's what went down. Donald Trump, Walti Nauta, Carlos de Oliveira approached me, Yusel Tavares, the head of IT. They told me to destroy surveillance footage. I told them I, I couldn't do it, but they wanted me to destroy it. So I lied to the grand jury in March when I told them I didn't know anything about classified documents and I didn't try to destroy evidence. That became critical evidence in the superseding indictment that was then brought by special counsel Jack Smith last month. And Yusel Tavares, by cooperating is not going to be charged, we are learning. It's now made official. So now a special counsel, Jack Smith, I want to get your take on this, Popak, is filed not one, but two Garcia hearings before Judge Eileen Cannon in the Southern District of Florida um, regarding Walti Nauta first, and then regarding Carlos de Oliveira, the maintenance worker who's represented by the Trump lawyer, didn't abandon the Trump lawyer, another Trump lawyer, John Irving. By the way, you see how kind of collusive the group is. Irving and Woodward, who are representing uh, de Oliveira and Walt Nauta, respectively, they are co-counsel on the case in D.C. for contempt of Congress, both collectively representing Peter Navarro the Trumper who refused to testify and provide accurate information to the January 6th committee. So Jack Smith wants to do that Garcia hearing now with uh, Judge Cannon. And he's told Cannon, look what happened with the Garcia hearing in D.C. I know, Judge Cannon, you're trying to call me out because you may have heard things on Fox about why we have a grand jury. It's because the witness who could have been uh, charged agreed to flip. Once he knew the repercussions, 
And now doesn't this put pressure on Walti Nauta and Carlos de Oliveira? It puts pressure on the lawyers because they're seeing, oh, wait a minute, right? It's a, it's a major message that's being sent here to them right now. You have a brief blip where you could potentially get out of this if you cooperate or we're going to put you in jail for the rest of your life. What do you make of this, Popak? This is, this is Jack Smith building a wall, a large and deep brick wall, brick by brick, and then pushing it over on you if you don't cooperate. He's been having problems with Stan Woodward uh, and the lawyer on his team, the prosecutors on his team, including Jay Brack, going back months. The person they really wanted, the, the, the prosecutor really wanted to flip first on Donald Trump is obvious. It's Walt Nauta. Who knows better than the butler body man from White House days all the way to Mar-a-Lago who moved 70 or 80 boxes in and out of the personal residence at Mar-a-Lago, who led the conspiracy, who uh, with Trump led the conspiracy to try to delete, drown, stab, burn the server containing the surveillance video than Walt Nauta. And that was the easiest get for the prosecutor. And But so they had a meeting. Many months ago, Jay Bratt, the counterintelligence head for the Department of Justice working on the team, who's now a lead prosecutor in Mar-a-Lago and other places, and Stan Woodward. And Stan Woodward didn't like the way it went. He didn't like that uh, they said they did their background check on Stan Woodward. It looks like you want to be a judge in, the, in, in D.C. somehow. I'm, we're surprised you're taking on clients like this. Oh, prosecutors were mean. Um, prosecutorial uh, uh, misconduct, all bullshit. The problem that Stan Woodward has is he never saw a conflict that he hasn't figured out a way to get paid to look the other way against. And because he's bought and paid for, I hate to say it, against a fellow lawyer by the Save America PAC, therefore Donald Trump, that's why he keeps taking like Pac-Man, gobbling up all the little Energizer bullets or whatever or whatever it is. All of these witnesses, targets, defendants, unindicted co-conspirators, indicted co-conspirators in the same case. He not only, you're letting them off lightly, Ben, he not only had or has um, two of the people that were unindicted or indicted co-conspirators in Mar-a-Lago, he's got the two executive assistants that used to work for Donald Trump, the uh, two female executive assistants and one for Melania Trump that also got caught moving the cookie jars and the boxes around at Mar-a-Lago under the watchful eyes of the surveillance camera. He's got too many people, right? You can't represent them all, Stan. And that's why the government... But it's not just, hey, let's have a Garcia hearing. Let's have a hearing to figure out the conflicts. It's let's use it tactically. This is the prosecutor. This is the building of the wall that falls against. You want to talk about a wall build? This is the wall that's being built by the prosecutor. Let's use it to get when we need to, to separate the person that we want to flip from the Trump pack lawyer and do it under the watchful eye of a federal judge. And you said earlier, Ben, that Bozberg said, hey, how about you consider basically having another lawyer, Mr. Tavares, the IT head, and making your decisions here? That's not what happened. What he what happened was Bozberg said, I'm going to give you an independent lawyer who is the first deputy public defender for the District of Columbia. You go meet with that person and then come back to me after you've met with them without, because he, he, he hadn't fired yet, Stan Woodward, you go meet with him in another room and come back to me and tell me what you want to do. And Nauta came back and said, I'd like to do two things, Your Honor. I'd like to fire Mr. Woodward, and I'd like to change my my tune about everything I told the grand jury because I lied to them Yusel Tavares. in March. You, yeah, Yusel Tavares. So I'd like to do all of that uh, after now having talked to the independent lawyer. As the year progresses, it's so important to stay on top of your mental health and fitness. We here at Legal AF on the Midas Touch Network are working as fast as we can to bring you the latest legal and political news updates so we know we have to stay sharp between the ears at all times. Frankly, life gets, what's the word I'm searching for, busy. And sometimes you end up sacrificing good foods and snacks for unhealthy ones strictly because they may seem more convenient. Whether at the gym on the go, or between meals with the family, Mosh Protein Bars are the smart snack to keep your brain and body fit-fueled and feeling good. With six delicious flavors, 
Each mosh bar comes packed with 12 grams of protein and is made with ingredients that support brain health like ashwagandha, lion's mane, collagen, and omega-3s. At 160 calories and only one gram of sugar, mosh protein bars are the guilt-free snack your brain and body will crave. Your brain is your number one tool, which is why mosh protein bars were mindfully formulated by some of the top neuroscientists and functional nutritionists. Founded by Patrick Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver, Mosh is a mission-driven brain health and wellness company that donates a portion of all proceeds to support women's brain research through the women's Alzheimer's movement at Cleveland Clinic. I absolutely love Mosh protein bars. They're delicious and savory and the smart snack to keep your brain and body fit fueled, and feeling good. We're constantly doing different videos and hot takes and podcasts here on the Midas Touch Network, so I'm able to enjoy mosh protein bars easily and enjoyably between tasks. Don't settle for a mediocre snack when you can nourish your body and mind with the fuel it needs to succeed. So whether you're at the gym, on the go, or just living your best life, mosh protein bars will keep your brain and body fit fueled, and feeling good. Head to moshlife.com slash legalaf to save 20% off plus free shipping on your first six-count trial pack. That's 20% off plus free shipping on your first six-count trial pack, which includes all six mouth-watering flavors. M-O-S-H-L-I-F-E dot com slash legalaf. Now, Jack Smith brings it back to the judge that he's having some difficulty with, to put it mildly, in Judge Cannon, and says, well, Your Honor, we had another grand jury. Yes, we did, up in the District of Columbia. And at that grand jury, Mr. Tavares and Mr. D. Oliveira lied to that grand jury because we now have developed through the grand jury other evidence, including we got the search warrant and got the surveillance camera footage. And now, because we sent him a target letter, thinking that we believe that Tavares has lied, once he got his new lawyer, and it's not named Stan Woodward, he's come clean with the government. And now we've learned, and that's one of the purposes of this particular hot take for our our audience, We've now learned, as we've always suspected, because we said this weeks ago on Legal AF when we saw the new superseding indictment for Mar-a-Lago, that Yusail Tavares, the IT head, is obviously cooperating with a full immunity deal. We suspected that three weeks ago when we saw the indictment. When we saw employee number four, we were like, that's got to be Yusil Tavares. He's the only one. And now we know, now we know from the new reporting what happened. They knew that they caught him in a lie. They waited to develop by getting, they waited to get the surveillance video of the of them lurking in the darkness. Walt Nauda, Carlos de Oliveira, the maintenance worker, and, and Yusil Tavares. And then they showed it to Tavares and said, you want to change your tune about not remembering the meeting about the server and the boss, Donald Trump, telling you to delete it? And now he said, oh, crap, this is how far Stan Woodward's got me. I got a target letter. I'm going to be prosecuted. So basically, if you want to get prosecuted by Jack Smith, hire Stan Woodward. It's now the second (laughs) time. No, I'm not kidding. It's like the second time, Ben, that he's put his client in harm's way because his real client is Donald Trump, not these people. Walt Nauda. God bless his soul, should not be an indicted co-conspirator. He should be a cooperator with Jack Smith and spilling the beans and telling the truth against Donald Trump. But because he has Stan Woodward as, as his lawyer, he bought himself an indictment. Same thing here. And it would have happened. It would have happened to Yusil Tavares, the IT worker, except for the chief judge of the D.C. Circuit Court, Jeb Boesberg, having the presence of mind and having the experience to say, you know what I'm going to do with this hearing? I'm getting you your own independent lawyer. Do with it what you want. You want to come back and keep Mr. Woodward? We'll talk about it. And instead, he went into a room and said, "Uh, I want to cooperate with the federal government, which is exactly what, what Jack Smith has always been saying about the use of the PAC money and Donald Trump to witness tamper and interfere with justice. We saw it way back when. I'll leave it on this bet for my portion. We saw it way back when, as early as the Jan 6 committee and Cassidy Hutchinson. Cassidy Hutchinson, the longtime aide to Mark Meadows, the fly on the wall in every room that mattered on Jan 6 and before Jan 6 against Donald Trump, when she was being represented by the, the, the Save America PAC lawyer 
who told her, and I'm not making this up, it came out during the Jan 6 hearings, um, why don't you kind of not remember that about your interactions with Mark Meadows and or Donald Trump? She said, sorry, I, I, but I do remember it. Yeah, but it may not be a good idea for you to remember it. She, even though she's 24, 25 years old, she went back to her parents and said, I got a problem. She's, she's testified to this. She went out and got her own lawyer. She got Jody Hunt, who's a top-notch white-collar lawyer. And within a week, she was cooperating with the Jan 6 committee, and we saw the results of the testimony. You don't think that Jack Smith has been thinking all this time that everybody that's not cooperating is because of the Save America PAC and Donald Trump as the puppet master? And he's got example number one. And now Stan Woodward's credibility in front of any other federal judge would have taken a major hit over this Yusil Tavares conflict issue. We'll have to see what happens with Judge Cannon. Up, right is wrong, up is down, black is white. We're in Alice in Wonderland when it comes to that judge in that courtroom. You know, when the poetic justice here with Judge Cannon is, you know, we believe that she heard on Fox from one of Donald Trump's surrogates this argument that there was something improper about the Washington, D.C. grand jury because she raised on her own a Latin term called sua sponte on, on her own initiative. She asked the parties to brief the, quote, imp the potential impropriety or propriety regarding the Washington, D.C. grand jury in response to special counsel Jack Smith's Garcia hearing uh, motion. And then so Jack Smith was able to come back and basically say, you want to know why we uh, have this D.C. grand jury? It's because the witnesses, including one who's now a criminal co-defendant in the case before you, lied to the Washington, D.C. grand jury. So we had to go back, Judge Cannon, to the Washington, D.C. grand jury where they lied to then gather the evidence to prove the lie with Yusel Tavares now willing to say, yes, I lied before that grand jury. That's the site of the crime. And Judge Cannon, if you don't grant our request for Garcia hearing the way Jeb Boesberg did, guess what we're going to do? And Jack Smith doesn't say this, but it's obvious this is what he will do. We'll take an expedited appeal to your favorite friends, Judge Cannon, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeal, and that will be strike three for you because the 11th Circuit Court of Appeal will have seen what Jeb Boesberg did and what went down there, and your denial of this is an appealable issue. So, you have all of this, you just see the talent of what Jack Smith is doing as an experienced, seasoned prosecutor, and you compare it to the uh, obstructive and, and, and just not really thought out tactics of Trump's lawyers because they're reacting to Trump's ego and hoping that they'll just get headlines in right-wing propaganda media that will make their client happy versus how you would strategically structure this litigation, these criminal cases in thoughtful ways. Jack Smith being very thoughtful and intentional with everything that he's doing. Make sure you check out MidasTouch.com for all the new breaking news. Uh, on everything Midas Touch, pro-democracy's number one home. That's MidasTouch.com. Subscribe to Legal AF wherever you get audio podcasts. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Legal AF. Shout out to the Midas Mighty. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.